Hi everybody. So here I am working on the torque tube, which we started in the last video. So it's actually, at, thankfully, it's got a, it's sitting there at the bottom of the screen right there. You can kind of see what it is. It's, it's uh, two kind of angled arms attached to steel tubes and welded on. And the push rod that we made in the last video, the last couple of videos, will go into one. And the other one will be attached to the control rod from the fuselage, a la the control stick. And in between the two is a piece of black steel pipe that you cut to a very specific length and put in between the two. And when I say specific, the plans basically say that, look, the minimum length for this tube needs to be, oh, I forgot what it was, it was like 15 and 3 quarter inches. The maximum that it can be is 15 and 25 30 seconds, <laughs> which basically means you have 1 64th of an inch to get this right. No pressure. So, uh, yeah, because like I said, you have to, because of the, uh, the way that the holders for the torque tubes, it's just two bearings. The way that those uh, sit, you have to insert this like a paper towel holder at your house, right? It just won't fit in. You have to have both pieces go in, turned, kind of uh, tilted to the side so that you can then put them together and then put the uh, AN bolts through and assemble everything there. Uh, not to mention, on top of that, the there needs to be an, a, an angle between the two kind of uh, arms on the torque tube uh, of a very specific distance. So the way that Vance has you set it up is you put it on a flat surface and you put a piece of material or you put an A and 3 bolt through one end or one of the arms and then you put a block underneath it that's exactly one and one sixty-fourth tall and as long as the other arm is flat on the table and that arm uh, the other arm is on that block and the length is correct then it's that's technically its final shape and you can go ahead and start drilling the holes into the second arm piece because the first arm piece it doesn't matter you just put make the first arm piece you put the connecting steel rod in between the two and it, you can drill it anywhere but once you put that second arm piece on it has to be exact so once you put that in and so now I've got a 1 and 1 uh, I actually used a piece of angle aluminum because it was the only thing I had small enough to get in between the arm pieces uh, now I have that so I can do it on the second one which I will be doing here shortly not in the video but shortly in my real life now and after I'm done with it, if anyone should need it, all they have to do is ask. Um, okay, so good. So the two... So now we're back working on the second push rod. As I had mentioned before, Vance had accidentally sent me the wrong push rod. I'm sorry, the wrong push rod end caps. So they're AN490s, which are threaded uh, caps, and they're meant to be used... Uh, Oh, hold on, we got a guest cat here. Uh, it's meant to be used as the male end through the push rod. Well, the ones they sent were the wrong size, and et cetera, et cetera. So I've got them right. And what you'll wind up doing is drilling two holes through both the rod and through the uh, uh, end cap so that instead of doing pop rivets, because you don't have enough room inside that push, push rod for pop rivets, you'll just put one solid uh, rivet through the whole thing and then rivet it that way. So, anyway, we'll probably be getting into that into the next video. So, I will uh, see you soon. Oh, wait, yeah. See, there I am drilling the holes all the way through the uh, the tube. And riveting them into place. Riveting Clico and so. Anyway, like I said, I'll uh, see you soon.